Hey everyone, welcome to Karate UI Automation Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the functions Highlight and Highlight All. So let's see what exactly Highlight and Highlight All are and where you can use them. So basically, if I go to the Highlight function, what it does it, it visually highlights an element in the browser. Okay, so mostly useful when working with the debugger. Okay, so say for example, you want to see whether the actual web element that you are looking for is being selected by the locator that you have specified, right? So you can use the function highlight and it will actually highlight that particular web element that you specify in this highlight function with a specific color. Okay, so that's what this highlight function will do and highlight all is plural form of the highlights. So if for example, you want to highlight all the text boxes, right, which start with input, which, which have the tag input. So you can simply specify like highlight all and then the locator or the input tag. So all the input tags on the page will be highlighted. Okay, so let's understand these in action and use highlight and highlight all and see what they are going to do for us okay so let me close everything here and what i'll do is i'll simply copy this scroll element dot feature file okay and paste it here and i'll say highlight element dot feature okay so let me close this one and open highlight element dot feature so on this training dot rcv academy dot com page let's see what all elements are there okay now highlight element say for example there are some text boxes here i want to see or just see or highlight this particular text box okay so your name so i'll simply inspect it right and then just Control F and we know that this is input tag, right? So I can simply say to write the X path, I'll say input and then what is the what is the name of that input? So let's see the the placeholder is your name, right? So we can simply say at the rate placeholder is equal to the placeholder is your name. Okay, and that's it, right? So you'll see that if I provide this it has gone away so let me again write it input at placeholder is equal to your name you copy it okay so if i put this particular locator you'll see that it actually highlights this particular web element right so highlight function in karate script will do something similar it will highlight this particular web element when we put this locator in the highlight function okay so let's put this here and now we are not scrolling right so scroll we have already understood so let me remove all of the scroll functions here and what we are using we are we are trying to highlight right so highlight and then the locator that you want to highlight okay so i'll simply change it to highlight and we'll put the locator for the web element that i want to highlight which is basically the your name text box and then remove everything else there and that's it so i'm putting a delay there before this uh, the this highlight and the after highlight so we can see that the web element is actually getting highlighted okay so here let me change it to highlight and copy this change it to highlight just then okay so let me run this and see how highlight will show you the actual web element so it has opened the browser it has opened the website now and you should see that your name should get highlighted after three seconds you can see that your name is now highlighted in yellow color right so that's what basically the highlight will do for you and it's most mostly very helpful when you are say for example debugging your automation script and verifying that it's actually locating the proper web element in your script right so that's what highlight will do now if say for example you want to highlight all right so highlight is uh, highlight all is plural form of highlight so what highlight all will do is so if you see here highlight all a is capital right uh, then if say for example I want to highlight all the web elements that have the input tag okay so if say for example I'll simply say input okay now how many input tags are there there are there are 25 input tags right so if I want to highlight all of these right then I can simply say 
input okay and say highlight all the input fields okay so in this case first the highlight will happen for just one of the web element okay and then the highlight will happen for all the input all the web elements that start with the input tag okay so highlight all will be kind of a plural of the highlight function so let's run this and see how the highlight all works so it has opened the browser it has opened the website now and after three seconds it should highlight your name field first you can see it has highlighted the your name field that is not highlighted now it should highlight all input tags now okay so you can see that it has highlighted all the input tags basically and because we just specified the input tag it's it has highlighted everything that was there on the page as an input right so the highlight was not absolutely perfect when we said highlight all let's see if there is anything in the report okay it has finished so let's see the karate reports it has actually failed and let's see what the issue is okay so input highlight all input so looks like basically this highlight all the the key thing is around the locator right so when we say highlight all we have to make sure that the locator uh, we are providing is actually selecting or providing the proper detail right so if we see here it is it is setting different there are many hidden type of web elements which have the input field as well right so that's where i think the problem is but if we say for example let's let's see something else right let's see if we see the anchor right so if we are able to see the anchors so in this case it should select all the anchors right or highlight all the anchors let's go to the documentation again and see the highlight all right so here if we don't specify let's say if we don't specify these forward slash just say input tag what will happen let's go here and just say input right so then in that case i think it should be absolutely fine let's let me change it to just input because in the documentation if you see here they have specified just the input tag let's see what happens okay with with just the input tag here so it has opened the browser it is opening the website training.rcbacademy.com and let's see if it is able to highlight all the put tags it has highlighted the first one which is the specific locator for your name and yes you can see that all all the input tags have been highlighted in this case right and the script has finished let's refresh the report yes this time you can see that highlight all has been passed successfully right so basically when we are using highlight all um, we don't need to specify the forward slash simply the tag name will do uh, if you want to highlight all anchor tags or input tags or all the buttons so you can just specify that tag of the HTML in highlight all and that should be all good to highlight those web elements and mostly used for debugging it's uh, you would rarely use this in your automation scripts but when you are debugging yes you might use this in debugging okay so that's all about highlight and highlight all functions in karate ui framework i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching